Good morning friends. Today's topic under Socio Quickies is Revolving Door Practices. Let's make sociology simplified, making the complex simple. Revolving door practices refer to the movement of individuals between positions of power in government or regulatory agencies and positions in private industries, particularly industries that they previously regulated. This phenomenon raises concerns about conflict of interest, influence peddling, and the potential for regulatory capture. In India, revolving door practices have been observed in various sectors, leading to concerns about conflict of interest and potential regulatory capture. Let's explore this concept further with suitable examples. The first is political and corporate interactions. In the realm of politics, it is not uncommon to see politicians and government officials moving seamlessly between public offices and corporate positions. For example, individuals holding influential political positions such as minister or high-ranking bureaucrats have been known to transition to corporate roles after their tenure in public service. This creates concern about whether their decisions and policies while in power were influenced by future employment prospects or financial incentives from corporate entities. Next is regulatory agencies and industries. Revolving door practices can also be witnessed in the regulatory landscape. Regulatory bodies such as the Securities and Exchange Board of India SEBI, or the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India TRI, have seen instances where individuals with regulatory oversight later joined private companies operating within the sectors they previously regulated. This raises question about the impartiality of regulatory decisions and the potential for regulatory capture where industry interest supersedes the public interest. Banking and Finance The banking and finance sector in India has experienced revolving door practices as well. Officials from the Reserve Bank of India RBI or the Ministry of Finance have on occasion joined private banks or financial institution after their tenure in public service. This again raises concerns about conflicts of interest as decisions made by these officials while in power may impact the financial sector and subsequently benefit their future employers. Environmental Regulation India's environmental sector has also witnessed revolving door practices. Officials from environmental regulatory agencies such as the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change MOEFCC, have moved on to positions in industries with potential environmental impact such as mining or industrial manufacturing. This again raises concern about potential conflict of interest and whether the regulatory decisions made by these officials were influenced by their future career prospects or industry relationships. These examples highlight instances of revolving door practices in Indian society, where individuals transition between position of power in government or regulatory bodies and private sectors they previously regulated. The concerns raised revolve around conflicts of interest, the impartiality of regulatory decisions and the potential influence of industry on policy making. Addressing these concerns requires robust regulations, transparent processes and ethical guidelines. Implementing cooling of periods, strict disclosure norms and stronger enforcement of ethical standards can help mitigate the potential risk associated with revolving door practices. It will ensure that decisions are made in the best practice of the public 
rather than influenced by personal gain or industry influence. 